changing or masking colors in Photoscape X. I've made a video about how to change the color of something in Photoscape X and there's a good amount of flexibility there, but I got an email recently attached with this photo to see what I could possibly do to fix this image. Now this is a downsampled slow resolution image. They've circled the areas where there's issues with it. I'm going to walk through that but then also I have another image here which we're going to use as kind of our sample image to do some edits to show you how I would make some adjustments here. So let's start with the sample image. Uh, what was said in the email was that this photo of this rock has some problems. It's got this like greenish yellow tint in between all these uh, painted dots and also some interesting blue uh, coloration on the sides as well and what was noted was saying hey I really don't want that in the image it's some kind of weird lighting thing and yeah stuff like this can happen a lot depending on your light sources and things like that it can always be a bit of a pain to try to get everything the way that you actually want it to be uh, nonetheless uh, as I look at this image the question was okay how could you remove some of those unwanted colors if you're not able to go back and retake the photo, which in my opinion, retaking the photo would be very huge to be able to just, there's a lot of different things you can do. Moving it just to a different room, to a plain backdrop, to a lot of different things could make the image look so much better. But also, let's look at some of the editing tips you can do in Photoscape X on how to use this. So first we're going to hop into the editor here. Yes, we are just editing this image here. Um, now. What was neat was I think she's watched a few of my videos so she knew about the color tools and in the color tool you have uh, the ability to go to mask and you're able to mask certain parts of the image, able to darken parts of the image or desaturate or up the contrast, things like that, or even desaturate. So what you could do is you go in here and you could select portions of the image and you could really increase the darkness on that. And you can really start to take that color away. You can even desaturate if that's the kind of look that you're going for. And you can go and you can try to remove some of that coloration that you're not wanting in the image. And really, it can do a great job for you. Now, from her perspective, she's like, I don't have the time to go and go around every single dot and every single circle. And I completely agree. And that's why, for me, one thing that I enjoy doing a lot is to paint the entire subject and then to deselect certain areas, which would mean uh, like this. I would just go and I would paint this entire uh, rock or, you know, just a large portion around all the stuff that I want edited or adjusted and things. So let's say I get the whole thing done and I look at it and I'm like, whoa, this thing looks weird. Now, I, let's say I didn't want to desaturate. I just want to darken. Okay, but then it still leaves some of that coloration that I don't want. All right, now that'll take away that coloration there. Well, you say, whoa, you totally ruined all the dots and things. Well, that's because I'm able to go and remove the mask uh, later by going to deselect. So instead of the select, going to the subtract or the add to the subtract. And then I can go in here and I can just select just the parts of the image that I want to be selected. Now, this also will take time. Like, it's not a perfect method, but um, really it just depends on what you're wanting to do. And what's nice is that you're able to adjust uh, the sliders here so you don't have to be super harsh all the time uh, with how that image is going to turn out. Uh, but yeah, sometimes that can be helpful to just adjust the coloration in certain images if there's something that went wrong. So uh, that is how I would go about editing this image. If you have another faster, better way, I'm totally open to suggestions. So definitely let me know what those would be. But yeah, that's removing those different weird coloration in this image. Now, what uh, the example here, uh, I have this other image here. This is of some products that I just recently got. I took tons of photos. Some of them turn out great, some of them not so much. In this case, really it's something where this glossy front, depending on the lighting and how everything bounces, it can either look great, which is like that dark, high contrast look, or it could you know, look pretty bad. So 
what you could do is you could go and you could make that change by going to color and making those mask selections just like we did with our last image where we're selecting our area and we could select all of them we could select just a few uh, but you can select what you would like and you can be as precise or you can be as just random as you'd like it to be you can go back and subtract if you went over too far all right and then you can go you can hit the darken there or there's also the deepen but what that can do is it can give you the look that you're potentially going for versus being stuck with what you had because to compare we had this to now that and some people would look at that and say hey that's a massive improvement hey I really like how that turned out and you know it's not uh, necessarily going back and saying oh wow look I made the product look better not necessarily what you're doing is you're trying to adjust it to get the lighting that you wanted in the first place uh, nonetheless you guys I hope this video was helpful uh, there's sometimes where colorations and lighting can just be a pain and sometimes you can't correct it right on uh, when you're taking the photo but you can do some adjustments in post hopefully this video was helpful feel free to leave a comment down below if this was uh, good for you uh, like it if you thought it was good and leave a comment if you have any kind of question that you would like me to answer in the future on Photoscape X or any other software. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next one.